In this installment, we're going to look at hanging signs as static equilibrium. What's depicted here is like a wall or a corner of a wall. This could be in your house. A person could be standing here, and there could be this object hanging. And you see it's being supported from the wall and uh, at the ceiling with this angle. So the first thing for us to realize is what the forces are. There is a force of tension in that direction. There's a force of tension in that direction, and there's a force of gravity in that, that direction. So there's two tension forces. Now when we look at this and think about this as like being in the XZ plane, you can see that this force and this one are already nicely in our coordinate system. It's this F2 that isn't. So what we need to do is break this F2 into its components, which would be this and this. And so this is FZ, FAZ. It's the A force, it's Z component. And this is FA, the X component, so FAX. So we've got two dimensions now. So we're now going to look at the equilibrium in two different dimensions. So if we look at the X direction, the sum of the forces in the X direction is FT1 and FT and, and FAX. And the net force is MA. I did that non-standardly. So we have the net force is the sum of the forces. The net force is MA. And the forces in the horizontal direction are FAX plus FT1. Now, the thing is at rest. So we know the acceleration is zero. Which means that FAX is equal and opposite to FT1. So if FT1 is 10 newtons, then FAX is minus 10 newtons. In the X direction, they must be balanced, and the only two there are this. Now if we look at the Z direction, F net in the Z direction is the sum of the forces, which is MA. And in the Z direction, we have FG plus FAZ. But like the horizontal direction, it's not accelerating in the vertical direction, so the acceleration is zero. And therefore, the force of gravity is equal and opposite to FAZ. So if the force of gravity is minus 50, then FAZ must be plus 50. Minus 50 equals a negative of the plus 50. Check. So what we see in this two-dimensional situation is the vertical forces are balanced and the horizontal forces are balanced, and that's what allows this to be in static equilibrium.